Every semester, Eastern students are required to complete a few community service hours, where several students really learn what it means to help a community. From February 23rd to February 28th, Eastern professor Dr. Charlie Chatterton and six students travel to New Orleans for a marathon and a chance to lend a hand. Here in their own words is their story. The first day we actually uh, had a two, approximately two hour tour of areas impacted by Hurricane Katrina. And to be very honest with you, it was, I, I, it was not what I had imagined. It was so much worse. Uh, you see neighborhood after neighborhood of devastated houses, FEMA trailers, FEMA trailer parks. Uh, it was a real awakening for the entire group. Uh, Monday we did Habitat for Humanity in the Musicians Village in the Ninth Ward. And probably the biggest, the most vivid image that I will remember is being up on the roof and seeing a school bus go down one street and then on another street see a National Guard Humvee. It's still hard to fathom of how a year and a half later there's still so much destruction, so much devastation. And, you know, just the struggle for the people of trying to, re, you know, get back on with their lives. Students Ashley Gomez and Lindsay Raymond explain what made their experience so important to them. For all those people that have gone through all of that and just to like welcome us with open arms and go out of their way to help us when they're the ones with like, you know, holes in their houses and, you know, all that damage and things like that, just to just to be like received like that from from the people is, is a good feeling. There's a lot of bigger problems in the world and the devastation that's there is I mean houses and houses, neighborhoods and neighborhoods. The trees don't have tops on them. The restaurants are closed. There was a Six Flags that was like a ghost town. It's just, we're very fortunate to have what we have here and just the chance to help people who don't have all the luxuries that we have of having a house instead of a trailer or, you know, just the little things. The people in New Orleans feel they're being forgotten. They don't want to be forgotten. They're not looking for a handout, but they, they want to recognize they will need assistance at all levels. Reports show that there are still 63,000 families living in FEMA trailers and another 37,000 families depending on rental assistance. Therefore, there is a lot more work and help needed for the residents of New Orleans. Reporting for News 22, I'm Cernay Wallet.